Good day future LPTs! So in today's review video, we will be discussing about the levels of the mind. It is one of the topics in the child and adolescence. So it was proposed by Sigmund Freud. In analogy, Sigmund Freud compared the levels of the mind into an iceberg. So the levels of the mind has three levels. Conscious, preconscious, and unconscious. Meanwhile, the upper part or the seen part in the iceberg is the conscious mind. And the synced part of the iceberg where we cannot see is the subconscious mind and the unconscious mind. The lowest part of the iceberg is the unconscious mind. The first level of the mind is the conscious level. It consists of all those things that we are aware of, including things that we know about ourselves and our surroundings. So it is the immediate awareness that we are experiencing of based from our senses. So the inputs that our senses have gathered will serve as um, basis to make decisions or actions so the conscious mind consists of the things that we are aware of in any given in any point of time it includes the things that we are doing right now like you i'm um, listening to my rec uh, review video or when you are taking an exam when you are having a conversation to a friend so that is when you are in the conscious level pre-conscious mind so it consists of those things we could pay co conscious attention to if we so desired and where many memories are stored for easy retrieval these thoughts that are unconscious at the particular moment in question, but that are not repressed and are therefore available for recall and easily capable of becoming conscious. So, this pre-conscious mind is what we call the tip of the tongue. Yung parang, nasa dila ko na eh. Alam ko to eh. Diba? Pero bakit ka ba kasama yung heartbreaks? Diba? Kasi, if you have um, experienced um, heartbreak before, tapos, magkakaroon ka ng relationship, tapos nakita mo, ay, ganto na naman yung nangyari, ay, parang ganto yun eh. Ay, alam ko na to. Parang ganon. Tapos, for example, ito naman, cellphone number, di ba? Um, kapag hindi mo kailangan yung tong cellphone number, wala siya sa utak mo, iba yung nasa isip mo. Pero, the moment na kailangan mo, bigla-bigla na lang siya magpa-pop out. Kasi, you are really aware of, pero, lumalabas lang tong thought na to, kapag kailangan-kailangan mo. Um, kasama na rin dito sa pre-conscious mind is yung mga uh, um, everyday nating nararanasan that, uh, that has very little um, significance to us. For example, kapag uh, nadapa ka, Siyempre, na-experience mong masakit. So, unconsciously, alam mo kapag nadapa ka, masakit. Hindi mo na kailangan isipin yun, pero alam mong masakit. Uh, isa na dito yung kapag tinikman mo yung asukal, isa tamis. Di ba? Alam mo na matamis yun, so hindi mo na kailangan isipin yun. Totally, kapag nakita mo yung asukal, ay matamis to. So, yun. Ayun yung mga bagay na nasip, nasa pre-conscious mind natin. The third and deepest level of the mind is the unconscious level. It consists of those things that are outside of conscious awareness, including many memories, thoughts, and urges of which we are not aware. Much of what is stored in the unconscious is thought to be unpleasant or conflicting. For example, the sexual impulses that are unacceptable 
While these elements are stored out of our awareness, they are nevertheless thought to influence our behavior. Although our behavior tend to expose the unconscious forces that are driving them, we cannot easily access the information that is stored in, in the unconscious mind. Throughout our childhood, we have accumulated a wide range of memories and experiences that influences to shape or mold the beliefs, fears, and insecurities that we now carry. So, most of these memories, however, we are unable to recall, they are the unseen forces that influence our actions our behavior so these negative experiences from our past or the traumatic events that we tried to push out into our subconscious mind are examples of things that we have unconsciously forgotten these are some life experiences or thoughts that may be scary or severe for us to completely recognize. Thus, we push it to our subconscious or preconscious part until we have completely forgotten it and deep buried within our unconscious mind. So, if you have questions, you may post it in the comment section, but please like and share to my YouTube channel to be updated for more review videos.